Hi, it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and today I wanted to give you a tour of my craft room. It's been a little while since I did one, um, maybe start of last year, and I have made quite a few changes. So if you've seen that previous video, you might notice a few changes in here. But in the main, a lot of things have remained the same because they're working well for me. So I'm hoping from this video, you get some tips as well of ways you can organize your craft room. So I'm just giving you a bit of an overview now. I'm gonna try not to keep it too long. And full disclaimer, I'm doing this on my iPhone. So I apologize if there's a bit of trembling, if it's a little bit too fast for you. Um, but if you've got any questions or queries, if I do go too fast, please leave them in the comments box below. I will reply to each and every one of them and I will help as much as I can. So I'm going to start with the main desk area, actually, and I'll move back just a little bit. So hopefully you can see the full desk area in one spot. Most of this furniture is from Ikea, including this top set as well, on top of the table, on top of the desk. Um, absolutely love it for storage, as you can see. That's where I keep most of my inks, which we'll look at in a little bit more. Also got that Alex drawers, which hold so much stuff. It's fantastic. And you can see I've also got these little drawers underneath my desk as well. This was a new addition this year, and I absolutely love them. These came from Shein. They were only about $12, $15 each. And I've got all my tapes on my adhesive foam, um, normal foam and things for dimensions. And then here is lots of adhesive tapes as well, the rollers. So they're nice and handy to have nearby. On this side, you can see I've got my gorgeous stickles collection. I like keeping things out. If I put them in a drawer, I will not use them. So the things that I'm thinking of finishing off a project with that I tend to use, I do prefer to have them on hand um, so I can look around my craft room and think, oh yeah, I'll put liquid pearls on or my um, pops of colour you can see here. These are from scrapbook.com and then the stickles. Now, because I have done a major clean out, I've got quite a bit of storage now, which is fantastic. So these are empty. Um, these are one of my favorite things that I got this year as well. Um, little finger dobbers, and you can see one side I've got oxides, one side's distress, because as you all know, maybe, um, you shouldn't mix those. So I absolutely love having those to hand. And then on this side, I've got all my distress inks in, um, or should I say the distress oxides in these big containers here. This is where I keep my oxide minis. So I've got all of these, but they're just in the minis. And this little storage unit is absolutely perfect for holding these. I got these this from Muji earlier in the year. Originally I had all my um, pens and things, but I thought it's perfect size for the distress colours. And there's a little bit more space for when the new colours come out. Also got on top just a little container um, where I keep the uh, little holders and things and my favourite scissors, these big Tim Holtz ones, I keep close to hand as well. I've got some of my other commonly used inks here that we all reach for, um, nice and handy near the desk. And then this is just full of a bit of clutter, just technology clutter really for my cameras and recording, which, which we'll come on to. So right in front of me, as you can see, I've got my little holder. Um, absolutely love this for keeping all of the things separate, easy to get out. This little spinner was from Kmart, so this has got some random things in as well that I tend to reach for. Um, don't use these very often, my little diamond press and my Zyron maker, but I do like to have them on hand um, in case I do need them. This is full of white cardstock or white scraps, some of it's paper. I've got my pattern scraps in here, my plain coloured scraps in here, well, apart from that one, that shouldn't be in there. Um, and then I've got another little um, set of three. This was from Kmart. It's a bit disappointing because it doesn't come all the way out, um, which I thought they would be able to come out to put on the desk. So I've not quite got a use for this yet. You can see I've just got a few little bits and bobs that were in the smaller one. Um, but I do like having things like this close to hand because these are just little embellishments to finish off projects with. You can see I've got my camera mounted here and I do have these soft boxes as well. So this is obviously where I do my recording to try and get a bit of better lighting. I do struggle because of the glass mat. Um, I wish I'd have non -gone, not gone for glass. I wish I'd have gone for a more matte one so you don't see the reflection. Um, but I do what I can to minimise that. And then the stuff on top, just like everyone else really, a little bit of decoration. Um, and then this little box at the end is where I keep um, just some little props when I'm doing pictures for Instagram. So it keeps them all neat and tidy. 
on here this is the rest of my oxides and then on here i've got some more little uh, swatches and things i've got the templates for these if you want the links i'll link them to my dropbox but um this is where i keep my main distress foam domes um which go on the hangers i've got one for each of those so they're all nice and close to hand um, as well as these um, for when I'm scrapbooking as well. I absolutely love these um, these stickers. So the little guides and rulers that you can use to get things nice and curved or straight, whatever you're, you're aiming for. These little tubs on the top, these, these are my Christmas things. Now they usually sit down below in the corner because I do want to use them once, um, once a year. Just move them out of the way. I should have got rid of those before before i started recording um i thought it was nice and neat and tidy this is just random bits um stationery i've got labels ready for um distress inks and so on so don't use that very much and then at the side you can see i've got my um go press and fall this is from control creations absolutely love it so keep that to hand as well and then moving down to the drawers i have got these drawers labeled on the top rather than at the front and they probably do need updating now i've had a little bit of a move around so this is where my distress inks were originally but now i've just got my catherine pula got some um, studio calico ones in the back polychromos have been promoted they were on the bottom drawer they've moved up um, to this drawer now so i'm using those a lot more and this is an empty drawer can you believe it so keep that nice and empty i'm sure it will get filled soon enough i was thinking in the meantime when i'm doing projects um i could use put stuff in here um to keep it out the way so in this little drawer i've got all of my sequins and glitters um, it's one of my favourite drawers. I love all the colours. So, but again, these drawers don't come out too far, so you can't fill them too much. This is full of all my embossing. So, um, I have a little tray there. I've got some my embossing powders. Uh, not too many of them, but everything to do with embossing is in this drawer, as well as a few of this um, little tissue with ribbon things. Um, speaking of ribbon, I did have a little holder. I managed to de-stash that to save some space on my wall and instead I've put all of the ribbons in this drawer as well. And then lastly, again because I've got the space, I decided to um, put all of my little pocket page notebooks in here on my traveller's notebooks. Um, just to make sure I get them used. A lot of them are used, um, or should I say full, um, but it saved a little space on my planner coat, which I'll come on to. So they were originally in there, but now they're in here. So I like having them here in the bottom. Um, but on this side, you can see I've got my Big Shot and um, my cutter as well. I always keep that close to hand. And my smaller cutter is here as well, close to hand. This little shelf, I've got all my photos ready to do for projects. And my pegboard was originally from my Cricut stuff, which I've moved. So instead I've been using it just to do little displays. You might have seen my very first YouTube shot where I showed you my Halloween layout. So I'm getting ready for my Christmas one. I didn't want to include it in this video um, because it's an all year own video, but I've left it blank for now, but I'll have that decorated with my Christmas stuff soon. And then on this side, my first drawer is a lot of my stamping stuff. Now this was chock-a-block. So with having a clear out, I was able to make this draw a little bit more stamping related as well. So a bit more of the random stuff in here with masking tapes and stuff. My punches as well, they get a bit more use now. They're a bit closer to me as well. And then, oops. And then this drawer is just absolutely just full of leftover storage. So again, an empty drawer when I need it. Um, but for now, I've just got a little bit of space for some of the extra storage. Then I've got the last two drawers is on my mixed media. So a lot of this was on the shelves on the walls and I've decided to just to put it away. Um, I think they're fine on the side. I don't think they need to be stood up and it's great having them all in the one spot as well for me to be able to um, have a look and browse. Similar, the uh, mica sprays, um, I saw Tim Holt say they needed to be stored on the side. So that was kind of the the push for me to put everything um, in a drawer rather than having it on the shelves. And I've just got some more random stuff in here as well, um, my gel press and so on. So that is my little desk area that I sit at and can easily reach to. This is on the right hand side to me, so I'll just give you a quick view. So this pegboard 
was just full of the picture frames with some of my little scrapbook layouts but I did decide to put the storage units on they were on a different part of um, the room and as you can see I've been able to use some of this for storage as well as just decoration which is good um, so it's good to be able to make use of that space it's quite a large one underneath I've moved um, my sprays so all of my sprays are here apart from the mica sprays as well as some of my glues and I've also moved my printer um, here now I'm very excited because I'm gonna convert this to a sublimation printer and get a new one for Christmas slash birthday so that'll be coming up in January but this is where I've got all of my main papers now for the printer and this storage now here is just the stuff I don't need very often now coming down here you see I've got my my trolley I've got a few little extra cases on the front there just for some cleaning cloths I've got my swatches on here as well and then just inside here I've got my label maker and my laminator as well so good to have those on hand and I love having this extra bit on top because it gives me a little bit of extra workspace. Hopefully you can see, but on the middle shelf there, I've got all of my filing products and all my scraps. Um, similarly on the bottom, it's a bit of a catch-all for stuff I don't use very often. Now I'm not going to move it out because I don't want this video to be too long, but in the corner here in this little cube, um, I've got all my paper collections and then at the bottom I've got a little bin as well which is full of my Christmas stuff so the stuff that I don't need to use very often. I also got these fridge bins from Kmart and again these have got collections in that I don't have too much for so these are in the plastic baggies um, and that's keeping them a bit closer to hand because I want to make sure I use them while there's not much left in them. And some of my other collections, my digital collections, digital papers, I've got in these little A4 um, folders as well. And then going back to the top I've got my little twirly thing, which has got all my random crafty stuff on. I've got a little bin full of stencils, so I don't have too many of them, which is good. But I've got my stencil palette in there as well as my, um, as well as my pixie spray. Um, and I've got them all in these pockets as well, just to protect them. Then here I've got embossing folders, as well as just some normal dies that are not part of stamps. And then moving along here is a bit of a mishmash. So some um, just stamps, just dies, or full sets. And in here is all my lawn fawns, the new ones I really try and collect. Um, I've also got all my sentiment strips in here as well. It's where I keep these little baggies that I got from Unicle Creation. Um, and I keep the original sheets as well at the side of them. Quickly going down to the drawers at the bottom. This is just full of books and things, little albums. This one is just felt and foam, so I won't show you that necessarily. Stuff to de-stash. Um, little bits of odds and sods in that one. On my cross stitching, on my random crafting, so there's like wood pieces, some kinds of craft. My punch boards, more acrylic paints, twines, and then on here. And then this is a deep extra adhesive my glue guns and things so that is that side of the room and i'll just give you a quick look at the back so i've got my longer cricket mats just on the back of my door and this side of the room is where we're really coming to more cricket um, and sewing as well so what you've seen there is so far a lot of my paper stuff so i'll carry on showing you my kind of paper craft stuff first um, which takes us to this side of the room so it's all really close to me and then um, we'll look over to the other side as you see i've got some more of my little um, scrapbook layouts on the wall for decoration this was a tub from scrapbook.com absolutely love it um, as you can see i've got my copics in it and i've got roughly half of the copics so it's a good size to fit if you're not sure how many you'll fit i love the fact that it's got these dividers to, it helps to keep the color families together and hopefully you can see, but I have managed to get all my other Copics in as well, uh, my fine liners. So there's quite a bit of space in these. And I love the fact that I can just carry it into the living room if I want to colour while I'm watching TV or something. I'm not stuck to the desk. These little inserts, these have got all like my speciality papers and things like watercolour paper, acetates and so on. Um, and then I've got a couple of these little glass shelves. These were new. Um, so I've got all my craft inventory on here, my swatches that I use a lot. 
this is my current um planner my happy planner for this year and i've got my new one ready to go this next year for 2023 my passion planner and then just some little notebooks down here as well this is where i keep all my alphas and thickers and then i've got another one of these little drawers which i absolutely love these acrylic drawers these were from office works so again just little random bits of things they're probably my favorite drawer this has got all of my enamel uh, dots in i've just got them all mixed up and then another shelf just full of um, albums and things as well which i'm sure most people have in their craft room this little um, cubby hole is from a card making stuff. So hopefully you can see there, I've got some blanks um, and some ready-made cards in the back. And um, here, this is where I've got things like chipboard and all of my waxing stuff. And I've got these in these little pockets and these little tubs. And then this drawer is where I'm gonna keep all of my card bases. So I've just got a few different ones in there for now. This little insert from Ikea, I've got all of my A4 paper um, and card, as you can see, coloured card and coloured paper. Um, I've just got the black and white here, and then I've got extra little plastic folders on the bottom one. And then I've got more little books and things, um, along with my 6x6 six six pads and my 6x8 six pads as well. This is where I keep all of my Memory Dex cards. So if you've been watching my Memory Dex Monday series, this is where they all live once they're made. I'm just finishing off with my paper crafting. And these first couple of little 12x12 12 12 is where I keep um, my card stock, just the coloured ones. Um, and then the rest of it is moving into my Cricut stuff. So things like the vinyl, the HTV and so on, transfer sheets. So that's a bit of a mix of both. These two fridge bins have got lots of kind of textured stuff, things to embellish projects with. So they're a little bit of a mishmash in those as well as some of my quilting rulers as well. So that's pretty much it for all of my paper crafting stuff. I'll give you another little spin of this. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. So this is a small room. I'm not quite sure of the measurements, but it is a small box room. So you can see you can get quite a lot in um, if you manage to get it all stored right. So we've been in the house for eight years and every year I've done a reorganization and I'm finally getting to where I wanna be. Um, as in, I only did a few tweaks this time. One of the tweaks I did last time was add a little desk in the middle here just to maximize space for my planning stuff. Um, with working from home, I lost my planner desk in the study and I needed to bring it in here. Um, but what I've decided to do this time is this desk was along the back wall and I decided to bring it out just to make a bit more of that space. It wasn't so wasted near the door. Um, and that's enabled me to put my planner cart here as well as this additional cart that I add with random stuff on. So I'll talk you through. This planner cart is my absolute favourite. You can see I've got all my pens and things on here, um, all my planner stamps and so on. Um, and then here is where I keep all of my sticker books. Um, the random stickers, random embellishments, and then all of my um, different planners as well um, that I've got and have. What I decided to do with my washi storage to make sure I was using it is just tie it on um, to this twine here, hook it on, and then um, I've got it all ready to go. So I've, I've kind of sectioned it where I can. You can see with florals, metallics, um, geometric, and then there's a few more on the other side as well on my monochrome, on all my glitter, and then on my plain coloured ones as well. So I am finding I'm using it a little bit more since I've done that, which is great. And the best thing about this is if I wanted to, I could just roll this outside, which is what I've been doing, sitting outside in the garden and making my planner look very pretty. Now this other cart, a lot of the stuff in here was in the Alex drawers. That's why I was able to free up the Alex drawers. And you can see I've got my laptop on the top. So this is when I'm working with my Cricut. So I've got a little space for my laptop. But the rest of these is actually filled with my watercolour stuff. So I've got my watercolour paper, my books. Um, I've got my markers, my palettes, um, my brushes. And I'll just take the lid off this. And you see I've got the random stuff in here as well. So that's my water pens some tubes. So basically I've got everything I need. So again, if it's a beautiful day, I can go sit outside with the trolley and do some watercolouring. 
and I did have all of my sewing stuff in our little granny flat um, that was during COVID because we weren't getting visitors but now we're at the point of getting it back into a little room for visitors I needed to reorganize and bring everything back in here so this end cupboard here um, this was from uh, my son's bedroom that we repurposed and I've been able to put an awful lot of stuff in that um, as storage I also bought this extra little unit on the top this is an extension for a billy bookcase from Ikea um, and normally when I'm not using my Cricut, um, which I'm planning on doing for the rest of the day, that will live um, on this bottom shelf. Then I've got all my mats as well as my felt sewing mat and then my scan and cut on top with my easy press. So they're nice and out of the way. Um, and then you can see I've got all of my Cricut vinyl stuff, I've got all my little pieces um, in this little concertina file, along with all of my infusible inks at the side of those. I've also got all my knitting stuff. The blue tub is just random stuff as well. A lot of it is tubs from the reorganization. And then I've just got two tubs at the bottom, which is full of blanks. So t-shirts, baby stuff, um, mugs, coasters, all that kind of stuff. And I'm limiting it to two bins. Otherwise I know it will just overflow and I'll have too much of that. I've then got at the top a box full of tissue paper. How I managed to collect all this stuff, I really don't know as well as my needle punch and my pom-poms. You can see I've got zips, um, snaps and binding, somewhere to keep all my old shirts. I like to keep these threads like this. I just think it looks really cute. And then I've got my overlocker. So again, I don't use that too often, so it's easy to keep out of the way and perfect size on that shelf. And then the stuff that's a little bit messy, I've just got in the little white tub there. Then I've got all my sewing books, reference books at the bottom. Then we move on to this little trolley, which you can see is quite messy at the moment. But this is where all my Cricut tools are, a little bin for it. Um, and the, all the stuff that I grab quite frequently is on the top. A few more blanks and things. And then at the bottom, I've got my quilling stuff as well. And to, to the side is just where I keep the power cords, so I don't have to keep taking them on and off. This is my sewing machine. So again, that's quite easy just to lift up when I need it. And then I've got another little storage underneath here, which has got all my fabric of the projects I'm working on, as well as um, down at the bottom, so you can see they're pretty much blank. This drawer, um, again, was repurposed. This was um, actually from my son's room. We've gone completely black, so I've got all of the white stuff, which is great. And this little drawer is really just full of all my sewing bits and bobs, um, which is great to have those to hand. And then this drawer, it's got all my Cricut bits and bobs. Um, need a bit more space, got all my little bits here. Um, tapes and things, I'm a fold quill, more cutters, um, adapters, blades and so on. So nice and handy when I need them and close to hand. So you can see a little bit closer view you there, um, just where I keep my easy presses nearby as well. Um, my pads and things so quite nicely contained now before it was kind of it felt like it was taking over the entire room so it's good to be able to get them all into the boxes um i don't think i need to explain this side of it too much i uh, see it's just more thread this was on another wall so i moved that um that was custom made for me so i can have the spools next to the threads which was great got all of my pletha here for making bows and things um, as well as more scissors, cutters, my buttons, all the sewy, sewy kind of things, which is great. I hope you got some ideas from that. I do love my little, um, my little tiny room. Obviously, I wish it was bigger like most of us, but it serves its purpose for me. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm very blessed to have this space and all of the stuff in it. I've been crafting for about 15, 18 years, so this certainly wasn't created overnight. So please don't look at this and compare with your own room. We are all different. We've all got different needs and different crafting styles. I like to do lots of different things. But I want to thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. I do share lots of projects from card making, scrapbooking, Cricut, random product reviews, as well as my memory decks, uh, which I absolutely love doing as well. So thank you for watching. Have a great crafting week.